I got to start off with the bottom of each module because when I start from the top and I, I basically don't hear anything, but that's only because it's not turned up all the way. Like for free, I got to turn on the amount. And as for room, I got to turn up the wet knob. Uh, pause. It's John T. Boy. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jaunty. Welcome back to the channel. I am back with a new video. I know it's been a good minute since I did a review because of what's been going on with Beyonce and her country album, Cowboy Carter. If you haven't seen those two videos, I suggest you guys check them out and see what's going on. I did it because, you know, as musicians and producers, we have to speak up our minds and, and tell people how we really feel about what's going on. Music should bring us together, not divide us. So if you're new to the channel, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos once I upload them. And also give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button for your boy. I will always appreciate you. And for today's Funko Pop of the day, we have... You guessed it, you got it. Boom! Okoye from Black Panther. I chose her because she's never afraid to speak her mind. And like in the last two videos I did, speak your mind, protect your dignity at all costs, and you'll be good to go. Okay, back to the matter at hand. We're going to be going over two plugins in today's video. The first one you guys are very familiar with is the Arcade plugin by Output, but it's a new line that we're going to go over. It's called Transcend, and I'm not very familiar with it. We're gonna, we're gonna see exactly what it consists of. And we're gonna use a beat at the end along with another plugin by Producer Sources. Shout out to them. This is called the Retro FX plugin. Something similar to the latest plugin that Safari Pedals has dropped. But this has probably has a lot more features. So we're gonna look into it, create a beat at the end, and we're gonna blend everything together to see what the results may look like. So let's check it out. All right, guys, we're gonna be going over Transcend first. Introducing Transcend. Immerse yourself in a euphoric melodies, hypnotic rhythms, and pulsating energy of trans music. All right, let's check it out. And of course, you guys already know the three different tabs, the three different categories, samplers, instruments, and samples. Okay, we have 16 samples, or well, samplers. How many? 15 instruments and 240 samples. All right, we're going to look through this pretty quickly we don't want the video to be too long all right let's see i shouldn't have stopped it right there hold up but it's, uh, it's too late, but we can always go back and check. All right, let's see. Let's try a few more. This reminds me of the type of music that used to be made back in the 80s. It's quite interesting. Let's see. I'm not going to lie, the melodies are nice. They're very nice. I mean, I'm just coming up with a beat in my head already.
man, whoever's coming up with these melodies is nice with the keys. Where can I find you so you can teach me a thing or two, right? All right, let's check out the instruments. Pins and needles. Ugh. I don't like the sound of that. It's not that bad. Not that bad. These sounds are, are nice. I'm not going to lie. It might not be certain type of sounds that I would use in my normal beats, but I wouldn't mind giving these a shot at all. I mean, me, I'm, I'm a universal guy. I'm a universal type of producer. I wouldn't mind trying anything and turn it into something different. And here are the samples. 240 of them. Those are the samples. I might use this one. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and use it. All right, guys. Now that we chose our sample, we're going to be using the Retro FX plugin to give it some flavor. And here's the GUI. It looks pretty interesting. I like the color and all. And it does come with 10 effects modules. And also it comes with their own parameters. So starting with W and F, which is short for Wow and Flutter. We have Fray, Room, Pulse, Grit, dive whirl and delay on the bottom left hand corner we have your low pass and high pass filter and at the top i'm assuming this is oh the text is always small i'm i'm assuming that's animation let's see maybe not uh oh it is because it's turned off stupid we want to leave it on uh, what does this say? I can't read that. Hmm. Interesting. Cool. Very colorful. All right, let's put it back to where it was. We have your noise, mod, modulation. I'm assuming this says spread. And right here is this mix. Okay, we get the gist. That round too. Okay, first off, we want to start off with Wild and Flutter, which basically adds pitch punctuations to the sample. So we're going to click on this checkbox here, which means it's going to be enabled. Right here, we have Wild, Scale, Intensity, and Offset. Okay. I could definitely hear the uh, difference. At first, I couldn't hear anything, but soon as I changed the scale, then that's when I heard something. Let's turn on flutter. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
It's pretty cool. As for free, it gives you control over the sample rate and the bit question. So let's check it out. That's not bad. It's it's starting to give me a little bit more distortion. Um, I'm starting to tell a difference than, than when it was before. As for room, you guys can tell that's part of your reverb. Let's click on this. I gotta start off with the bottom of each module because when I start from the top and I, I basically don't hear anything, but that's only because it's not turned up all the way. Like for free, I gotta turn on the amount and as for room, I gotta turn up the wet knob. Uh, pause. Okay, next up, we're gonna be using the post module, which basically adds movement and it pulsates the sound through the gate and wobble. So it's, it's more like you're creating a vibration effect, like it's vibrating the sound. Uh, we're going to be checking this out. Maybe I should turn off the other ones just to hear this one a lot, a lot more clearly. But um, I'm going to go ahead and turn these off. Play it back. There you go. Yeah, so that, that definitely tells you that that module is working. Um, let's go to the next one, which is Grit. Now, this one has saturation and distortion, and it has its own low-pass filter. So we're going to click this bad boy on, and we're going to press play. Yeah, so Grit is, grit is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, as for dive, this is another reverb module, but this one, it actually simulates that reverb into different categories. Like, it'll give your sound a different atmosphere. That was totally unexpected. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> all right, so let's use this one a little bit carefully. And I noticed that this has an up and down arrow, so it has its own presets. I think it has about 26 of them. Okay, so we're about to do whirl. Now whirl it has like sweeping and swirling through a, a phase effect. So let's see what this bad boy sounds like. Um, so far, that sounds pretty tight. Let's check out the last one, but not least. You guys know what delay is, so we're going to click on that. LFO. Didn't know that that was going to uh, happen. I should have clicked on that before. Uh... Let's see. Thank you. 
check out the noise. Bubbles. Is there a mix? Hmm. That's amazing. I like that. I like that. And here are the presets. There are about 300 of them, I think. 300 plus. And we have different categories. Retro, creative, distort, and degrade. Reverb and delay. For You know, you guys get the whole thing. You guys can read. I hope so. Uh, Let's see. So many of them. Boom, boom, boom. So many of them. 300 plus so let's see what we have so far see if i might like it might keep it what you guys think of that i really think it was dope RK, like I'll be telling you guys once before, they be coming out with some crazy lines, some crazy samples. I kid you not, you will not have producers block forever. And the retro effect plugin, I'm really digging it. I'm really digging it. Like it's it's very useful if you want to create like saturated distortion type effects. And um, this is in competition with Safari Pedals plugin that just came out recently that I recently did a review on and um i think it's rabbit tape uh because the rabbit tape has certain certain elements from this plugin that it does in theirs like the wow and flutter module but uh but even though these are two different types of plugins this one's quite close to being neck and neck so if you guys want to grab these, the links will be down in the description below. I appreciate it if you guys use my affiliate links. It'll help support the channel. Also, you'll never know what you're capable of if you have access to all those sounds with Arcade. So take advantage of the 30-day free trial of Arcade. If not, if you want to buy it, go ahead and get it. It's only 10 bucks a month. And also, for, for Retro FX, it's on sale right now for $19.99. If you guys want to grab it, feel free to do so. But once again, it's your boy John T. I'm signing off. You guys have a blessed one. I love you. God loves you more. Stay blessed and peace out.